hey you guys welcome back to our channel welcome back to another cooking video so i'm not gonna put my face in the camera you guys because i don't took a couple plaques out my front and they just chilling so we just gonna skip past that so as you guys see i am going to be making beef stew in my foodie ninja uh pressure cooker i was gonna say crock pot but it can be a crock pot and pressure cooker y'all like get into it so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do this but of course you would need and i had this sitting out so it can thaw out but of course you need well it says beef for stew it literally says that right in there but it's all wet so um we got this at Publix um I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it and what I do um I do apologize if y'all hear Skylar she is actually in this playpen right here um if I would have left her in the room she would have did nothing but cried I have my ninja plugged up and it literally says ninja right there so um this it can shut like this let me zoom out for y'all so it can shut like this but I'm not gonna be using this because I think you use this for the uh like uh, air fry type of thing. I think I, I'm not sure. I have to read the label, y'all. She don't threw her bottle outside of the playpen, but I will be using this lid. It comes with another lid, so this lid goes with this. I'm gonna turn the power on. So I'm gonna click right here, sear saute, and it's on high. And I'm going to pour. Let me make sure okay so as you guys seen the once you take this out it's a little thing in here where it got like if you set it in there it'll press the little button down so now it says hi but let's clean that meat off and let's see if saute it first i'm going to pour some olive oil in here so i have my olive oil organic olive oil and we just gonna pour some in here because we don't want it to stick too bad and i'm not gonna pour a lot because i'm not gonna clean it duh y'all you got to press start i'm wondering why i'm like this not even getting hot y'all you can have your blind moment sometimes but not all the time god so i got my beef stew in so we just gonna let that sear saute you guys it did not take long for this to heat up at all so I'm gonna let this do what it do and I'm gonna clean my bowl and my cutting board because who trying to wash all them dishes afterwards? And there we go, handy dandy tongs. guys um i have right here i have some beef stock so i'm going to pour the whole entire thing in there because about two weeks ago when we made this we pour exactly the whole thing in there so we're just gonna pour the whole thing in there So that is the whole zing so the whole thing is actually in there and I'm gonna just give it a nice stir I added at least about like three or four drops of Worcester stir sauce however you say it um it's optional to you you don't have to add it but it gives it a lot more flavor my lid is on we're gonna click pressure and we're gonna go under pressure for 20 minutes and don't forget to click start and make sure the top make sure the top you guys can't see but i'm gonna show you guys you guys pretty much can see this make sure this is turned towards this side it'll say seal and it say vent you turn it towards vent when this red thing y'all can't even see it it's a red thing back there when that pop up 
you guys will know and you have to literally turn it over on this side but let's just make sure it's all the way over there so you guys it's gonna take a minute to adjust so it's gonna go and then it's gonna literally start counting down it's just preparing to pretty much boil so in the meantime while that's doing what it do you guys see that red that red button pop up so i believe it's it may be finna start counting down but i'll turn back on the camera once it start counting down so right now you guys it literally just started counting down you guys really can't see because it looked pretty blurry as you guys can see it just started counting down so it's on 18 minutes now um so in the meantime i got my carrots i got my carrots out washed them my potatoes out washed them and so now i'm about to put the pot on for the yellow rice and i'm about to put the corn on but i'm not gonna start cooking that until i put my carrots and potatoes in here so make sure you guys stay tuned all right so you guys we're gonna go ahead and do a immediate release i'd be so scared for this because you can eat, you can get burnt from doing this so i'm just trying to move it closer so you guys can see so you gotta So you guys it took probably about two minutes and 30 seconds you'll know once it's done because that red uh button at the top it actually goes down so you guys see that it's not up anymore so i'm about to do the lid and do it away from you you guys don't do it do it away oh yeah that smells so good now of course I don't have as much meat especially from last time um we had a pretty decent amount of meat in here so i'm just gonna pick up and show you guys one the meat's tearing apart y'all y'all see that i got a piece of meat in there it's tearing apart so now what we're about to do okay so you guys the next thing that we're gonna do and it's just going to keep counting down until you actually like do something like if you want to put it back on the pressure, if you want to slow cook and stuff like that. So what we're about to do is add in our vegetables and these are my pieces right here. So we're just about to add, we're about to add in. So it's just right. So I wouldn't have to add another um, thing of beef stock. But if you guys, and I know that you guys see it like, why is it watery? Like, but don't worry, we got something for that. But right now isn't the time to add that. So this is what it looked like. So we're gonna put the lid back on. So we pop the lid back on and we're going to turn this back piece back to the sear side seal. We're going to turn it back to the seal side and we're going to press pressure. We're going to press pressure and this time we're going only for two minutes and don't forget to press start you guys. So start and now we wait once again. So. just in them two minutes we got soft potatoes we got soft carrots stop yeah yeah i got my daughter in my arms so it's not 
thick. So, um, we got what everybody intend to call it a slurry, but it's literally either you can get the juice from here and you can get more beef stock and then add in cornstarch but what i did i got cornstarch mixed it up in a bowl it's just a little and then we're just gonna put it in there and i'm gonna stir it around we're gonna stir it so we're going to hit sear saute and we just gonna bring the temperature down to a low medium. Cause I really don't want it to um, cook a lot. We just want it to get thick and then just hit start. And boom. So it pretty much done got thick, but we just want it a little more thicker. It's not high boiling, but it's just boiling. We don't have to put the lid back on for this part. We just want it to Thicken up, you know. Let's just let it get a little bit thick. So, you guys, this is it. It definitely has thickened up a lot, actually. Like, it thickened up a lot, you guys. Like, the potatoes are soft. I'll pick one up and show you guys. Too soft. Too soft potatoes are way soft y'all so whew, beef stew has definitely gotten thick so I am going to fix my plate and I will definitely show you guys what it looks like alright so you guys this is my finished look I know y'all probably cringe like yellow on yellow y'all I guess you're gonna eat rice with me but this is it This is it. Let me do it like this because y'all, I got plants here. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what other food videos you all would love to see from me. What other foods you would love for me to cook. So, I'm about to eat and we gonna get up out of here so make sure you hit that subscribe button comment down below and like this video share this video with anyone and everyone and let them know your girl cooking okay Period. she mad because i got her in her car seat said she want to move and she want to do stuff yup but all right y'all i'll catch y'all later bye